الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهم رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم من يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ما بعد احبت في الله all of those verses that we hear often the first verse ya ayyuhallazina amanu taqullaha haqqa tuqatihi haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun o you who believe fear allah the full taqwa with real taqwa and do not die except in a state of belief all of the verses that we read mention taqwa they all mention the importance and emphasize that taqwa is a part of our deen and taqwa is a commandment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taqwa is an obligation so we it begs the question what is taqwa what is taqwa what is god fearfulness what is god consciousness it refers to a habit of Allah as some of the salaf referred to it as doing the commandments fi'l ta'at wa ijtinab al ma'asi so that it entails doing acts of worship you know doing the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding sinfulness those are both acts of worship so when you do something you do worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you this is a part of taqwa that you are actually you're praying you're fasting you're making hajj you're making the uh, uh umrah you're giving zakat you're doing all of these different uh, charity you're doing kind your kindness kind words uh helping people all of these are acts of ibadah acts of worship and at the same time leaving off sinful is the fact that you leave off drinking alcohol you leave off uh smoking weed you leave off crack cocaine you leave off zina you leave off pornography you leave off fighting and 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 harming people those are acts of worship as well because you you're leaving you are avoiding those things which Allah is away jail has prohibited so by leaving off sin you're also gaining the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's a part of taqwa and along with it being a part of taqwa habit fi al ulama they say that they differ over whether it's more reward to do the obedient acts that Allah has commanded you or to leave off maasi so some of them say by leaving sin leaving off sin is greater in reward than doing the wajib and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala both of them are wajib but in doing the commands and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to bless us to be of the muttaqin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam